so the next thing I'm going to tackle in here is this whole thing. So we emptied out that big container over there um, and I'm going to try and condense some of the loose stuff that's not board games over there. So I'm going to start up here first and this is Jess Toys on it. So I'm not entirely sure what's in Jess Toys or if it's even Jess Toys. Oh yeah, it's just toys. It's Harley Quinn stuff, of course. I have so much Harley Quinn stuff, it's not even funny. Um, so we got this one. <gasps> this is a fish tank. See, okay. See, this just answered my question. I was on point to possibly get a fish. I was thinking about it for the longest time. And now that I have a DC like fish tank, this is coming in and we're getting a fish. And that's the end of that. Um, oh, Polly Pocket? <gasps> oh my goodness, y'all. I didn't even know this was under here. Yo. I remember getting this. <gasps> Look how stinking cute. I have this. This is mine. So, yeah, Poison Ivy, Catwoman, and Harley. Wow. I am really impressed by this. So... Oh, guys, I have so much. I think I'm going to have to go through my Harley Quinn stuff and get rid of, not get rid of, but switch out some of the stuff that I have in the shrine upstairs and downstairs. Um, but that's really pretty. I was never a fan of the Arkham Asylum video game or character of Harley Quinn. It's kind of like she doesn't really know what's going on yet in her life. Oh, good. Another Imaginext. Next. We have this upstairs. And then, yeah, I really wasn't a fan of this. Um, I'm not really like anime inclined. Um, so yeah, that's probably why it's in the box. But um, that's cool. I definitely am gonna take the Polly Pocket in the house though because that's really pretty. I forgot I had it and I want it badly. All right, so yeah, this is Mattel. That's probably why I like it so much. Gorgeous, all right. So that's gonna go in the going in the house box. All right, so those will probably go in the really, really big bin. Um, we have a Stratos and Scareglow minis. Um, I'm gonna open this up, because this is already open, I believe. And we have one in the Scareglow, Scareglow shrine. Um, so yeah, pretty, right? This might be a good giveaway since we already have one. And scare everyone likes Scareglow, right? Yeah, really cool. I like it. So this might be a good giveaway. Put that in the house. House pile. Um, yeah, the Masters of the Universe board game is definitely coming in the house. <sighs> and this is the cool thing I like about vintage stuff. So if you see on the front, um, it's a kid who wrote on his board game. And that adds so much more to the piece because it's so authentic and it really meant something to this kid. So this is definitely gonna go in the house too because this, I think we got rid of this at one point, so it definitely needs to go back. Um, so this is a Devastator. I think this is just the box because he is actually displayed in my husband's office. We've got a Nintendo Power Set, um, which I think the actual power set is somewhere else in another box. Um, Marvel Super Heroes game. Oh, this is the 2000, no, not the 2000, it is 2000X, yes. This is a 2000X He-Man guy. I, I really like this. Um, this is probably gonna go in the house as well because um, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the one that I broke. Oh yeah. See, I didn't, I didn't mean it. And see, back in the day, I didn't know about He-Man. Listen, can I tell you the story real quick about Masters of the Universe? So, my husband and I lived together in Sicklerville for two years before we moved down to North Carolina. He had out mostly Marvel stuff and Transformers, right? And I was like, okay, that's cool, that's cool. And it wasn't a lot, it wasn't a lot of stuff. We moved down to North Carolina, we got a house. We got a, you know, pretty decent sized house. All of a sudden, he's like, have you heard about He-Man? And I was like, no, I've never heard of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe before. He's like, well, let me show you. All of a sudden, Homie was opening boxes with a bunch of He-Man stuff in it. We were watching the cartoons, and before you know it, we had a He-Man room. And that's all we were eating, sleeping, breathing Masters of the Universe. Years later, it's still a thing. And I had no idea. He waited until we were like married in a whole nother state to where like there was no escape. And then all of a sudden he's like, bam, He-Man. 
and here we are. But I broke it before I know before I knew what He-Man was. So this was an accident. Um, I don't think it, that's the broken one. We're not going to take him in the house. All right. Um, we got a cord back there. Um, I'm going to show you the cover of this box though, because it's actually really pretty. And we have a shrink wrapping machine, and um, my husband definitely shrink shrunk wrap this because it's really pretty really vintage and I wonder what year this is I want to say like 70s it looks like a 70s art 80s maybe I don't know let me see oh it's 92 I wasn't even close but that's really pretty so that's going to go in our pile of um, board games all right so we have a star ears I'm not really familiar with them but that's a little mini comic cool 1984, that's gonna go, go in our house box. Gremlins 2 puzzle, that's cute. Color forms, <gasps> Bozo the Clown. Oh, that's creepy and cute at the same time. Tom and Jerry the movie Stick and Lift. Oh, I used to love these. Oh, I used to have a bunch of them when I was little. That's neat. Oh, look, I found a turtle bus. <laughs> what do you know? Mutant high, guys. All right, I'm gonna put these up. Look at, cool, right? Let's turn that around for you. Cool, so that's probably gonna go in that container over there to condense toys. Okay, it's not rolling away anymore. Um, ooh, squirrelinoid. That's a thing, apparently. All right, well, that's obviously a newer one from the Nickelodeon show, which is cool. Oh, I saw one of these yesterday. Is this a Beast Warrior? Yeah. That's what I thought. I was looking at these the other day. And um, my husband's like, you know, I really don't like the Beast Warriors. I'm like, I kind of do. They're kind of neat. It's, you know, I'm, I'm over. We can have action figures of people all day. But, like, got a giant wasp. That's kind of cool. I like it. All right. So these are going to go in that big old bin over there that we made room for oh we got a transformer see i'm not a fan of rc i'm i'm not i tried my husband's a fan um i'm not i don't i don't know why uh, mainly because i think i just really like Soundwave, and nobody can compare to Soundwave. so um yeah this is a 2014 30 year kind of thingy um that's neat all right what else do we have we have more transformers in here Sky Warp. That's kind of neat looking. Oh, look, they have a comic book included and everything. This is also the 30th year kind of thing. That's neat. And, oh God, what are these? These look like turtles. Yeah, that's cool. And then the last thing we have in here is a bird. This looks, uh, this is like a, like a Zoar. Or Seahawks. Silverhawks, Silverhawks, Silverhawks. Jeez. Um, yeah, that's kind of cute. Okay, we'll put that in our, you know, little boxy to go somewhere. All right, so we got through one box. Let's do another. All right. Whoa. Priority box upon priority box. What do we got? Um, all right, so we got some game cords. Okay, so that will go over in our gaming section over yonder. So I'm gonna put that back here for right now. And yeah, we definitely have a, what? I want this. <laughs> Look at the gorgeous Sony Walkman. Oh my goodness. I think I had this one as a kid too. It was just kind of cool. Um, but I didn't have these that often because I was more of a CD type gal. Um, so yeah, this is our electronics. We got a Nintendo GameCube controller in here. So I'm gonna put these back on the shelf and we will um, condense those in a bit. And then, all right, we got board games. Now this is a silk screen printing kit. Like, really? Like. So, okay, that's cool. Um, block the clock and ooh, mold masters. That's a huge one too, guys. Like that's big. Um, we definitely like the creepy crawlers and the creeple peoples. Another one we got mighty men and monsters. No, that's a, that's the other thing, but no, the creepy crawlers and stuff like that goes together. So it's Kenner's electric mold master. Neat. What is this? There's laser tag underneath. But I'm a little confused as to what this is. Nope, it opens this way. 
Oh, it's a Sega um, like holder thingy for your games and your console. Okay, that's kind of neat. That's gonna go over on our video game thing too. And just to confirm, this is laser tag. It's laser tag. Okay, so this is board games and extension of our um, video game-ness. I mean, guys, we were really into video games at one point, mainly when our 14-year-old was really into them. Um, we were getting, we, I think we had every console. Like, I think the only one we were missing is like, I want to say Xbox 360, but all right. Well, that is another shelf and I'm going to probably move on to another shelf in a little bit. So stay tuned. Bye guys. Hello there. I am so grateful that we have reached another milestone. I love doing these videos. It means that you guys are watching and subscribing. So thank you so much. It really means a lot to me. Um, so we have to set a new goal and I think I'm gonna go big at 1,000 subscribers and we're pretty close. So please everybody continue to spread the word, share on your social media pages, get your friends and family together. Um, anybody you may know that may like toys or anyone that just likes YouTube. Um, so spread the word. I would love to get 1,000 subscribers and then we can do another giveaway. Don't know what it's going to be yet. Um, maybe some suggestions. What would you think? What would you like to see? What would you like to see as far as a giveaway? Um, do you want to do like a toy, a tour, a toy and a tour? Just curious. Um, but again, thank you guys so much for the support. And this has been a really great journey. So let's make it to 1000. We can do it. Thanks, guys. Bye.